Welcome to the CTS Learning Series, Chapter 4, Data Model Conformance Verification. Video 3, Verification of the USM using the CTS GUI. In this video, we will understand the data model conformance testing workflow, use the CTS GUI to successfully test a USM, use the CTS GUI to unsuccessfully test a USM, and understand how to read and recover from data model conformance testing errors. Testing a USM consists of configuring the data model tab in the Project Configuration Builder. To learn more about the Project Configuration Builder and the possible options to configure a Project Configuration file, please refer to Chapter 3. In the Data Model tab, we have the option to enter the location of a shared data model and the UOP supplied model. The shared data model may be downloaded at the shown location. The data model that we want to download is SDM version 3.1.4. I have already downloaded the SDM onto my machine. In the CTS, let's select the location of the SDM that I downloaded. Next, let's select the location of the USM. After the USM is selected, the USM's path will be shown in the CTS. Additionally, the CTS will automatically populate the UOP drop-down menu, where a UOP may be selected. Depending on the UOP selected, the associated views for that UOP will be listed in the bottom of the interface. To test for data model conformance, select the top right button. The Run Segment Conformance Test interface opens. We are able to see the progress of the conformance test report being shown in the progress bar. The conformance test report's output location will be shown. The report is generated as a PDF file. Let's open it now. The conformance test report lists a title page, immediately showing the name of the project and the conformance test results. In our case, we passed conformance testing. Under the conformance test result, we see the version of the face technical standard we tested against, followed by a timestamp of when the conformance test report was created. Next, a table of contents has been created. The table of contents list entries are clickable and lead to the corresponding page in the report. Then, the project configuration is listed. This is how the project configuration is generated as the PCFG. The TCFG would then be listed, but since we have only tested for data model conformance, we do not have a toolchain configuration file. Finally, the conformance test report lists the conformance test results in detail. Each test is listed with a passing or failing result noted. The data model conformance tests do not list a test log as they were passed successfully, according to the DMVT. Let's create a failing result by using a non-conformant USM. As you can see, this USM has major syntactical errors. Let's replace the successful USM with the USM containing the syntactical errors. The data model will be loaded into the CTS and allow for us to test the data model for conformance once again. When the test completes, we can see we have a failing result for our conformance test. For more information about the requirements to make data models conformant, please refer to the FACE technical standard. This error in particular refers to the fact that the official SDM must be the same SDM contained in the USM. To fix this error, it is important to make sure the provided SDM is the same as the official SDM. Thank you for watching. In the next video, entitled Verification of the USM Using the Command Line, we will explore how to invoke a data model conformance test from the command line, understand where the DMVT and DIG are located, and demonstrate a successful and failing data model conformance test.